Man, when I... Hang on. Much better. Let's discuss No Way Home without any spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. With the incredible amount of hype surrounding this movie on a global scale, from the trailers, to the rumors, to the teasers, to everything around the internet. I mean, it literally almost broke the internet just to get a ticket to get to this movie. And breaking records left and right. Only to the comparison of Endgame, which Endgame is quite possibly the biggest superhero movie that has ever existed. And as we've seen in the trailers, as far as who has been already confirmed, and getting confirmations like William Defoe coming back to his role, adding to this incredible hype train, leading to what I could only state as a perfectly balanced, perfectly paced, balancing its humor, its action, its CG action, and how the characters balance out each other. That is purely a entertainment buffet to the Marvel Cinematic fans. And it does differ from previous movies that really brings out the essence of what it means to be Peter Parker and the incredible complexities of being a young teenager with incredible abilities and having the responsibility. See what I did there? While also showing the importance of his friends and family around him and the incredibly difficult decisions that he must make as not only a superhero but a person. And frankly, if Stan Lee were with us today and were to see this movie, which I know he definitely saw it from beyond, it would have brought a tear to his eye with glee and soulfulness of how this character was portrayed while facing real world problems that we face every single day and our emotional roller coaster on a day to day basis and what it means to be Peter Parker and the relationships around him to maintain a balance among them and even though the occurrences that happen in this movie will change how everything happens in the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe rumors and theories aside this is by far the greatest Spider-Man story not only film but story that has ever been made period and Stan the Man Lee would have been extremely proud to see this film now one thing I will state is that do not go anywhere after this movie is over watch the end credit scene all of them i'm looking out for all you fellow fans just like me i'm looking out for you if you want to confirm if there's any end credit scenes yes there are end credit scenes stay all the way to the end damn it's so incredible just stay till the end you'll thank me as for the easter eggs and breakdown of this film i will not be posting anything up until next week probably on Monday at some point because this movie simply just needs to be enjoyed in the movie theater so don't spoil it for anybody and go and enjoy this film because it is exactly as Tom Holland said one of the most ambitious films you would ever see we are doing a 50k subscriber giveaway for the nano Iron Man gauntlet fully loaded with the infinity stones and LED lights Simply hit the subscribe button, comment below, and like this video. Until next, Spidey fans. Fitner, over and out. I got down to Spider-Man. Spider-Man. It just sounded dramatic. So, okay, I had my hero. I had his power, his name. And then I figured, just for fun, I'm going to give him personal problems. I told him. This was my reaction, the reaction he gave me. Stan, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. <laughs> First of all, and he started to give me his, because he's a very logical man, very intellectual. First of all, people hate spiders, so you can't call a hero Spider-Man. You want him to be a teenager? Teenagers can only be sidekicks. And you want him to have personal problems Stan, don't you know what a superhero is? They don't have personal problems. Well, I left the office disappointed, but obviously a much wiser man. <laughs> if you have an idea that you genuinely think is good, don't let some idiot talk you out of it.